Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase, You Will Obey Me. Uh, appropriately today we're doing a Master Custom because uh, at the, on the day of upload this is the 50th anniversary of the Master, um, of the Master uh, appearing in Doctor Who and this custom is from Big Finish's masterful uh, release which is celebrating 50 uh, years of the Master which introduces a semi-new incarnation that you see here. This is Milo Parker's uh, portrayal of the first Master. Now obviously some of you may know that previously um, the actor James Dreyfus was playing seemingly the first Master in various other uh, big finishes. However, due to his very outspoken transphobic views, he has uh, been removed from Big Finish, quite rightly of course. Um, but it seems that they are wanting to continue with this first master, so they have recast him in the form of Milo Parker, who as I said is playing the master from before he left Gallifrey, hence the robes. And that's a nice little bit of uh, continuity there as well, given the fact that when we saw the master in the flashback in Sound of the Drums, uh, we saw him aged 8 in front of the untempered schism in his robes. So it's a nice little bit of continuity there. I'm certainly interested to uh, to see where this is going to go. At the time of recording, I haven't listened to Masterful yet. I will no doubt uh, soon because I have ordered the limited edition and I'm going to download it when I can. Uh, but the blurb in Vortex magazine does confirm he is indeed intended to be the first incarnation of the Master before he left Gallifrey. There's been a bit of speculation on that, but that has been confirmed. So overall, as a custom figure, this is a very very mishmash of parts because uh, starting from the first of all it has been uh, obviously sculpted on all of the road pieces you know all of the uh, black pieces have all been sculpted on and the collar um, but starting from the uh, ground up the legs and uh, lower half of the tunic are from a heavenly host um, figure from the series uh, special Voyage of the Damned I've used of that. The torso and arms are from a Banner Cafalata figure um, because it was just one that just sort of fitted and gave the right sort of height of it. And then his head and his hands are actually from a Perry Brown figure. Um, now this does seem a very odd choice and it has left him being a little more tanned than I would have uh, would have wanted him. Um, but it works weirdly well because once you've, obviously I've sculpted on new hair as well, i point that out, uh, but once you remove Perry's hair, with all due respect to Nicola Bryant, the Perry figure does have a slight sort of unisex quality to it. And whilst it has left a few small um, continuity, well not continuity, but small issues such as on his uh, right hand as he comes around, you can see that he's still wearing a ring. Just the general sort of smaller stature of the female figure does sort of mean it's a bit more in scale with a um, a bit more in scale when you've you added on the shorter Banaclafalata torso to being um, sort of youthful and teenage-ish sort of age, um, and it has worked out very well. Uh, I have to say um, the head sculpt. If I if I didn't. If I didn't know that it was a Perry head sculpt, I wouldn't immediately think that's what it is. Um, I haven't decided yet. I might do some sculpt, uh, some head casts of this for my uh, store because I get the feeling this is going to be one that people will probably be interested in. And it's again, it's a very unique looking sculpt. It's a very good use of it. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this has come out because it is one of those ones that was just. I didn't know how I was going to do a figure of a smaller stature, but it has worked out very well, um, and the sculpting work has come out very nicely, a lot better than I was expecting it to, and the paint work. White is always a difficult one to paint because it needs a lot of coats, but it has come out very, very well. Uh, but that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. You will obey me. As always, I hope you all enjoy this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way. It's your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon. <laughs>